Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Custom Creations by Rhonda Ray. Thanks for taking time to stop by and watch this tutorial today. What I'm going to be showing you is how I do a Ocean Waves beach tumbler using acrylic paints mixed into my epoxy. So for starters, what I'm going to do is go over the supplies that I'll be using today in this tutorial. And what you're going to need is a stainless steel tumbler, and I'm using a 15 ounce today, uh, made by Hog. And what you'll need is some different variety shades of blue acrylic paints. Also a white base paint as well. And the other thing that I use that I think I mix it up different than I've, what I've seen other people do is I choose to do my sand in the glitter method, um, adding the Mod Podge to it um, instead of using the acrylic paints for that. Um, also what you'll be needing to use for today's tutorial is for each color paint that you choose, you will need a mixing cup and a stir stick. Um, so what that is for is so we can take our part A and B, mix that up, and add it to our acrylic base paint to give it the color that we need. So these are just my basic supplies that I'll be using today. And again, you can use other shades of blues that you would like. And I also like to let you know that I mix it up for every time I do this cup because with the different shades of colors and the effect that this makes, it takes on a different look for every cup that you make. So I'm going to go ahead and get everything together and we'll get this tutorial started. All right, so as you can see, I have already prepped my cup for this process and you can check that out as well. I have videoed a recording of how I do that. So I will add the link to that in my description. And so what we're going to do is we're just going to apply a little bit of Mod Podge and you're just going to give it some definition, no perfect way of putting this on, but you're just going to apply the Mod Podge over your cup. I go up about an inch or so, no clean marks, no clean edges. I just kind of give it something to adhere to. Again, this is the beach, so you're not going to want to be a perfect sand. All right. And then we're just going to apply the glitter. And I do this first, and then I'll apply the, the epoxy over the tumbler to do the acrylic method. Kind of missed a few spots here. And I usually only do one coat, but sometimes I will have to go back and do a second coat. All right, so that's how I do my sand. All right, guys, so I have gone ahead and I have done a few steps off camera. I did do a second coat of the glitter, as well as I have sprayed it with an acrylic clear spray just to hold that glitter in place when we get ready to put our epoxy on. I have also mixed up my epoxy and for the first thing we're going to do is after mixing up the epoxy we're just going to go ahead and apply a fairly good amount um, just to give it a good coat and then we'll go ahead and get ready to mix up our acrylic paints as soon as we apply this. And again we're just putting a good coat on here. That way the acrylic paint mix has some good flow. So what we're going to do is I usually mix about five to seven and a half mLs of each color, about five is about a good amount. Sometimes I do a little more on the darker blue top. Seem to use that one a little more. And we're just getting this ready to add our acrylic paints. 
you will not need much at all of the acrylic paint just enough to give it a tint of color all right All right, as you can see, really didn't use much. We're just going to mix that into our epoxy. And we're going to do the same for each color. Again, just a small amount of each one. little bit more of the white. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead again. Same here. There's not much in that acrylic paint color. Just make sure you get it all stirred in really good. Right, that looks really good. All right, so the rolls are all mixed up. All right, let's go ahead and move you back over to the cup where you should be ready to apply. And I like to start at the top, and we're going to use this sky blue. And what you're going to do is you're just going to take your paint stick, your stir stick that you use, and you're just going to drizzle it across your cup. And you're just going to go back and forth, giving it some thin lines, getting it close to the top. Coming down a little more. Again, you're just pouring it on with your stir stick, giving it a good coverage at the top. And then you're going to do this the same all the way down your cup with your colors. And I started out with the sky blue. You can go down as far as you want. You can go up as far as you want. Again, we're just getting some coverage. As it turns, it will start to blend. It'll start to move. We also will put some heat on this to get it flowing. You guys can see that okay. And again, don't, re don't forget, I will link the colors that I used on this tutorial today. And you can pretty much use any combination of colors for this method to give you that beachy scene. And I do go right over top of the glitter because it'll blend in really well. Make it have those ocean waves come up into the sand. So this is just continuing this across. As you can see, it starts taking a good flow as it spins. And I'll take the color and I'll go back up to the top and do it again, filling in some of those spots. I don't have but again we will hit this with a heat gun and it'll definitely start flowing a lot more
And again, you're just putting the colors all the way through your tumbler, taking that same effect up and down your cup. And then after I get my colors done, do a couple more into the sand. Start to get that blend going. I will go behind, and this is when I'll start adding my white. Sorry guys, I need to heat the white up just a little bit. You can add a little bit of heat as your cup's spinning to your acrylic paint mix. And then what I do is I just same method with the white. Just take it across my cup, giving it some waves down below and across the top for some clouds mixing in. Like I said, it kind of looks like a hot mess right now, but we'll get some heat added to this and it'll definitely start taking shape. You can just start seeing that here. Just kind of take it across the bottom. Just, yeah. Kind of looks like I might have added a little too much of the white paint. Makes it a little gooey, but We'll heat it up a little bit more. This will help a little bit. Make sure we get that bottom with some. All right. All right, so now what we do is we're going to take our heat gun and we are going to give it some heat all the way around. This not only heats up the epoxy, but it will make it start flowing and pop out the air bubbles. And then what I like to do is, as I'm doing this, kind of tilt up my turner. And you can see it'll start taking some movement up and down the cup. And go back the other way. So I kind of got you off camera here a little bit. see the white taking shape for the clouds. Okay, and as again, and again what we'll do is we will pull up a little bit here, kind of just raise it up, let it take some flow. It's okay that it's dripping off. It will, this just kind of gives it a little bit of flow. Let that white blend in. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let this spin for six to eight hours and then we will come back and it'll be all cured and then, then we'll go ahead and do, do our decals on this and I'll go ahead and show you how I do that as well. So, six to eight hours and we'll be back. Alright guys, so we are back today and we have let our cup cure for six to eight hours and this is what it looks like after it has had done its flowing of the acrylic paints. What I have done off camera before this step is I have washed it and wet sanded it under warm soapy water, wiped it down with alcohol and a coffee filter, and now we are ready to go ahead and apply our decals. And I've already cut those out. And I have used 
my Cricut Explore 2 to do this. And I have also used the printable vinyl stickers to cut out my dolphins. And I print out a sheet and I just pick and choose from there. And basically what I do is I will go ahead and just put on my decals, put my dolphins where I want them, and then after this step, I'll go ahead and we will do another coat of epoxy over top of these vinyl decals. And then we will be ready for our owner to receive their cup. And there's that. Alright guys, so I have gone ahead and mixed my epoxy off camera. I have mixed 10 part A and 10 part B of the Pearl Marine epoxy. I've let it sit for a few minutes to warm up. And then all I'm going to do is just pour it on, covering up the entire cup. And this process is pretty much the same for all the cups that I make. Uh, the only difference is the amount that I would use to mix up. So we're just going to cover this up with a smooth coat of epoxy. Making sure to get that bottom all the way up to the top. And then we're just going to Smooth it out. And after this, we will go ahead and let it spin for six to eight hours again. And then everything going well at the end of this, it'll be ready for the owner. All right, then we're just going to take our heat gun and go over it back and forth, never staying in one spot for too long, just giving it a good heat so that way it runs clear and smooth so you can give it that glass-like finish, getting all the air bubbles out if there is any. Alright guys, that's it. This is how I make my personalized ocean dolphin tumbler using acrylic paints. Alright guys, that does it for this tutorial on the acrylic paint based waves dolphin tumbler. Here's our finished product. Alright, and I hope you learned something. Take it away with you today. Try it on your own. Thanks for watching and definitely hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button if you'd like to be notified when I put up some new videos in my shop and that way you can keep a track of what's going on. So if you have any questions or comments, please leave those down below and I'll definitely get back on those. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.